Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about the book that Judith Sargent Murray published in the 1790s called On the Equality of Sexes. This book talks about how Murray cared so much about gender equality. Murray was raised in a progressive household in Gloucester, Massachusetts, where she was educated at home with her brother. Her family was one of the earliest supporters of universalism in North America. What is universalism? Universalism is a belief that everyone and anyone will be saved or will achieve salvation. She was fortunate enough to grow up in a privileged environment where she was exposed to political issues, philosophies, and more than some of the women of her era. She has developed her opinion through her own studies and experiences and had the courage to fight, to fight for what she believes in, which is I admire. And that would be that everyone is equal, both men and women, and that men are not superior more than women. Her thought and ideas even came further and reached the Bible, where she was explaining an interesting point where she mentioned how Eve and Adam was made and how Eve was curious, and she said from her book that Eve had a desire of enhancing her mind, and how Adam simply gave in to his physical arousal at Eve's naked body once he saw it. For me, this is a very powerful statement because it is short, yet it says so much about what she was fighting for and her argument. Her message says a lot about this especially this quote. Murray's analysis would be scandalous for the first parish church, but with her family's privilege and family's name, she was able to deliver her messages across a lot of people, especially a lot of mo women. This is an important argument that can still be applied. Time has changed from then to now because now we can say that women have more rights and a lot of things are not limited to us women. Women are still fighting for their freedom because of the gender inequality that we still face to this day. And it is hard for a lot of women around the world. Her book proved that women can also be cap capable of what men can do. Women are not only made for household chores and light work, and that is for sure. We can do heavy jobs like what men can do. She even mentioned in her book something about how we all are, we are, we are all born the same by nature so we can be equal in everything. And I really admire that because not everyone has the same thought process like everyone does because ev some people feel superior above other people, especially men. It must have been hard for Murray to be taught at home and when she wanted to learn Latin, her parents refused to go through with it and support her. Instead, they had her study on her own. Conclusion, Judith Murray wanted to fight for her rights and for every woman that do not have the opportunity to do so and speak for themselves which is really admiring and really powerful for her. She became every woman's voice because of all the mistreatment she has seen and what she has been through because she wasn't able to go to school and be free to have her rights to go to school and learn the same education that men does before. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. And that is all. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to understand what I had to say. Because this topic is really important to me. Because a lot of women I know still go through this and still fights for their rights up to this day. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day.